Ola England. This man does not need an introduction. He's pretty much the godfather of metal guitar YouTube. He's been uploading amazing high quality content for over 10 years now. He was obviously a big inspiration for me to start my own YouTube channel. I also started it around 10 years ago. <laughs> But I only started to take it serious around 2019 or 2020. But enough with this intro, why am I making this video? Since Ola is a really awesome and kind person, he recently featured this channel, so our community, in his FAQ series. But there were a couple of important and unanswered questions in there, so I wanted to make this video real quick. Let's check it out. Hey Ola, have you ever checked the YouTuber Burnt out? He is amazing. First of all, obviously, thanks so much to everybody who's recommending the channel and posting it all across the internet. I think there's still some confusion when it comes to pronouncing my name. Ola went with the English version, which is perfectly fine. Bernd. I always say Bernd when I have to say my own name because that's how we say it in German. But please feel free to pronounce it however you like. I'm grateful for any kind of word of mouth that I get. And in case you think my first name is confusing, there's a reason why I didn't include my last name in the channel name. That one is Brotträger. <laughs> So good luck with pronouncing that. Sometimes I don't even get it right. Surprisingly, David Hasloff is actually pretty good at it. I have not checked him out. Let's do it right now. I have definitely heard about the guy. Let's check him out. I might even have spoken to him. I don't know. So the thing right here is Ola. We sadly never hung out. We never spoke to each other. We never met. But I actually sent over a really cringy video a couple of years ago and you might remember me from that. Maybe some of Ola's fans remember his project Eldwag. I really hope I said that right. It was a really awesome project together with Krim. That's actually one of my personal favorite metal drummers and we worked on some projects together in the past. We actually grew up in the same hometown called Wiener Neustadt. And I think that he told me back then that he has this project together with Ola and that they are looking for a singer. I think you know where this is going. I do sing here and there, mostly scream. So I actually sent over an audition video, which was kind of meh. We're gonna have to dig into the channel archives for that one. It's an unlisted video because it wasn't that great. Yes, there it is. It was in 2014. So some really cool drum fills. Trying to be James Hetfield. Yeah, I think you've seen enough. So Ola, maybe you remember me from this video. You never gave me a call back. I guess I didn't land the audition back then. But I think it proves for how long I actually follow your work. I remember watching the early Amp Shootout videos in the time where I was playing in Belfegor. So I think around 2010, 2011, something like that. It's honestly really cool and quite impressive to see the community that you've built over those last years. So of course it's an honor that you are checking out my channel. So let's get back to that. What is he doing? Paganini. Oh, holy shit, what? <laughs> that is the most amazing light show I've seen. Almost, almost. That's very beautiful. So thanks a lot for that. I personally really enjoy putting all this effort into the music videos on the channel and there are some amazing projects coming this year. So to give credit here, Niklas Fuchs was actually the light guy or the light designer, I should say, for this music video. And if you have been watching the channel for a while now, you know that I work closely with Martin Kames on a lot of videos. He has a really impressive lighting and special effects company in Vienna, which is actually a really funny detail when it comes to the next point that Ola is making. And in today's video, I'd like to show you some very- What the hell is this? Set up the sizes that will help. That, that has to be a green screen, man. Or what? That's an incredible stage right there. What the f is this background? It's incredible. So when we were actually shooting in this set around 2020, 2021, we got so many comments saying, wow, nice green screen setup or nice work in After Effects, like extending the set digitally and so on. And it really broke Martin's heart because he built all of this. Everything you can see in this image is actually real. We actually recorded a quick tour of the video set. I think that a lot of you guys and girls actually missed that one. Maybe it's also interesting for Ola at this point. So let's check out the highlights real quick. So this is where we are filming today. Yes. A lot of you guys and girls actually asked if this is a green screen setup. 
it's actually all real. Tons of blinking lights operated by this guy, Mr. Martin. So right here you can see Martin's lighting desk. I'm quite sure that I'm going to butcher this, but to my understanding, he was controlling the lights with the blue board in the bottom right corner. He also controlled all four cameras that we had in the set. So it was a really cool multi-camera set. And he was also controlling the LED walls. Fire? Yes. Okay, that looks about right. And shouldn't the blue lights be red maybe? Yeah, I think we are ready. So I'm really grateful that I got to record in this killer set for around a year, I think. But we sadly didn't see a lot of comments about it. As I said, most people thought that this was a green screen. Maybe you thought it as well. So right now we're saving the big productions, the big lights and the special effects and all that for the really awesome music videos that are coming this year and for some special projects that will also be revealed in a couple of days, actually. But when it comes to just performing something really crazy, so playing something really crazy on guitar, which I do on the channel every single week, or when it comes to explaining something guitar technique or music theory related. I think it's always about how and what I'm playing or what I'm explaining and not so much about the fancy video set. So that's why I built this room that you can see in this video also with the studio desk and workstation that I'm looking at. I think this is a really cool set for the regular videos that are coming to the channel every single week. But of course I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below if you're actually missing this set or if you can remember it. That always really helps with deciding where to invest the time and effort for such crazy sets like this. That has to be a green screen man or what? It's not a green screen, Ola. So Is he from Austria? All, yes. By the way, yes, I'm from Austria. I'm from Vienna, actually. Okay, this, this video has one and a half million like views, so he's probably saying something left really good. Thumb. Left hand thumb. As I'm quite sure you know already, your hands it's are... This one. Yes, it's this one. Yes, it's this one. Playing like this, for example. What? Does he have his... Does he have the guitar pick in his ear? <laughs> no. Playing like this, for example. What the f*** is... What is... Where are you putting your ear? You oh, it's the inner. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry. So the audio in this room was a bit tricky because it wasn't really a fancy film studio. It looks like one for sure, a fancy film set, but it wasn't located in an actual studio space. The not so romantic fact about it is that there was a garbage room right next to it. So in order not to get distracted by the noise, I was always playing and recording with in-ear monitoring. You're working with your entire arm when you're picking and you completely lock up your wrist, you will encounter multiple problems. You will have That's me right there. Well, it was also me a couple of years ago. I think this topic, so when it comes to unlocking your wrist and using your wrist for an effective wrist motion when you're playing fast, is something that affects a lot of guitar players, especially metal guitar players. As we often discussed it on the channel already, we always tend to go for a big arm motion when things are getting fast. And that way it gets really difficult to play really intricate patterns and difficult string transitions. And you also don't really feel in control of the amount of notes that you're playing because you're just going as fast as possible. There's also tons of unwanted string noise, of course. I'm sure you heard me talking about this at some point. In case this is something that you guys are currently still struggling with, I made a video on it recently. So make sure to check that one out in case you're looking for exercises. Playing very relaxed but extremely fast alternate picking is also something that I'm working on every single day. <laughs> And from personal experience, I can really say that unlocking that kind of wrist motion really, really helps with that. I definitely have this problem. This is your default. That is me, right there. <laughs> like a shortcut to faster tempos in the beginning because it's easier to gain momentum when you rely on... All right, well, he got me. That's... Okay, I'm subbing to this guy. Thanks so much, He pointed out a mistake. Am I going to fix it? Probably not, <laughs> but I checked out his YouTube channel. That's burnt, everyone. Go Thanks, so Ola. Thanks so much. So once again, Ola, thank you so much for checking out my channel in your FAQ series. I got an insane amount of messages and comments pointing me to this video. So I think people that are watching my videos are also watching your videos. So we're kind of sharing an audience, which is really cool and great to know. Maybe we can really do something in the future. It would be really cool. I promise it's going to be better than the Elfwerk video that I recorded in 2014. I personally think it's really awesome that you're checking out and supporting other channels on your YouTube channel that you've spent so much time and effort building. That's something not a lot of creators are doing because the guitar scene is really, really competitive and it was quite inspiring for me personally. So this is something that I want to do more in the future as well. So I hope that you guys and girls actually enjoyed this short video and that you're subscribed to Ola's channel. If you're not, do that right now. There's a very special video coming later this week. I really hope that you will check it out. If you're looking for new content right now, you can check out this video. See you soon. Have an awesome day. Greetings from Vienna. Bye bye.